Hello friends, how are you? It's Fly Girl VSG coming into you with my week 97 post-op VSG um, update. I don't have numbers to give you to you today. Um, I did not tell you how much I weighed last week. I will not do it again, but I'm also not in at my house. And so I'm on Tessa Go Teams VSG, if you guys remember her. She hasn't made videos in a long time, but um, she, uh, I weighed myself on her scale today and it's still ugly, but you know, it's her scale, not mine. So um I'm just going to wait and see till when I get home. I have figured out um, a couple of things, though. Um, and so let me preface this because I'm a little insecure about what I'm about to say. So last week on my week 95, I think it was my week 95, or maybe it was my week 96. What week is it now? 96, 97? I don't know. Last week on my video, I got a comment. It was very lengthy from someone that I don't know. Um, and I... I mean, I, I thought it was a thoughtful comment. Um, obviously, it's their their opinion about my journey, and um, they and I respect what they had to say. They got me thinking a lot, and they they basically kind of indicated. And you guys can go back and read it if you want. I won't, um, you know, go into it here, but. Um, it actually kind of kind of hurt. I kind of felt some of it was true. Um, obviously, not all of it. I think it's hard to judge somebody's journey uh, um, until you have your own. Um, but they had kind of told me that um, <laughs> I had kind of helped them make the decision to not have weight loss surgery because um, that I'm taking it for granted, this opportunity for granted. And maybe that's true. Maybe that's true. Um, I'm, I've lost 100 pounds. Um, I'm 40 pounds away from goal. And... Um, You know, um, even with struggling with some regain and my habits not being perfect, um, I'm still a success. And that's my opinion. Um, I don't feel that having weight loss surgery means that you have to live stringently for the rest of your life. I am not, um, nor does it mean that it gives you permission to eat all the things all the time in whatever quantity. Um, that's why I have this surgery, so I can have food that I want in moderation. I'm not perfect at that. I'm not perfect at that, but I, I am better, like infinitely better. Um, and I still struggle and the struggle is real. It, the weight loss surgery does not cure you. And anybody who thinks that it does is delusional. <laughs> um, weight loss surgery does not take away any part of what happens in your brain or change your relationship with food. I mean, it helps change your relationship with food, but it does not, um, you have to do the work behind that. It itself does not. Um, surgery itself does not change that relationship, um, other than the fact that you physically aren't capable of eating um, as much. Um, it doesn't mean that you don't push that. It doesn't mean that you won't have times. Um, nobody in this journey, nobody is perfect. Nobody. Um, and the person also uh, made reference to the fact that I talk about drinking wine a lot. And I do talk about drinking wine a lot. And sometimes I do drink a lot of wine. I think I talk about it so much because I'm very insecure about it. Um, because I know it's not helping me. And I love wine so much. And I've always loved wine so much. I've always been a wine drinker. So um, it's definitely a struggle. It's definitely hard to be like, I'm in my 30s. Um, I'm not, you know, I don't have kids. I am a social person. It's very hard to go to like three happy hours a week and be with my partner who drinks every day and not have a glass of wine. You know, it's, it, I do it. I mean, it's not like I'm do it every time, but it's hard to go and be the only one at a party not drinking. And so I talk about it a lot because I, because I know I can do better. And so it's, it's one of those accountability things for me. So I know it sounds like I talk about it all the time and then I'm probably drinking like all the time, which I'm not <laughs> drinking all the time. But like, um, I realize probably how it sounds to you guys because you don't know how it's balanced or not balanced with other things. So I probably talk about it more than it really, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Um, and another thing that they said was that I was making a lot of excuses in terms of some of the regain that I've had. I don't feel that that is accurate. I feel that I have put on probably, probably 18 pounds since in the last six months. Um, I am dangerously close to 200. And I feel that most of that is um, medical related. I really feel that um, my habits now are no different than they were a year ago. And my eating um, is no different than it was a year ago, and I work out, and um, 
I'm conscientious. I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect, and I never said I, I was. Um, the <laughs> This is my story. This, that's all it is, and it's definitely just that, my story. Um, I'm not here necessarily to tell to be like the shining bright example of how to do this. I am just telling you my story. And you can take what you want and leave the rest, just like you do with a 12-step program. You know, if, if I'm the person that you look to on how not to do weight loss surgery, then fine. You know, good good luck to you. I mean, you know, um, I, I wish you the best of luck. Um, I had, I, I feel like of these these pounds I've put on, probably four of them are legitimately mine. I I put on 14 pounds in rapid succession within four or five weeks after getting that steroid shot. Um, that was not my eating. That was not my drinking. That was a, the steroid shot. That's not, has nothing to do with me trying or being successful. That has everything to do with the fact that I just put a huge thing in my body that did not react well. Um, nor did it even work for my pain, so it sucked. But um, you don't gain that kind of weight and eat the way and drink the way I do and um, put that kind of weight on in a, in a month. You just don't. It's just not physically possible, um, at least not from my experience. Um, and then I started getting that finally off a couple weeks ago. And this is going to sound funny, but um, I am, my body is opposite. So I've been on oral birth control. I know this may be too TMI for any guys out there, but I've been on oral birth control for, um, since I was about 16. And I've tried to get off of it a couple of times, but every time I do, I gain weight rapidly. Um, so most people who are on, or most women who are on, not men, obviously, um, but most women who are on oral birth control, they um, find that they gain weight when they are on it, when they first get on it. And that they like the IUD and that that's not typically a side effect of um, the surgery or the um, birth control method. But I have gotten off birth control before, like I said, and have gained weight rapidly. So I've stayed on oral birth control primarily this long because I knew I would gain weight when I got off of it. But I've had so many um, spotting and random bleeding moments since weight loss surgery um, that we thought we would try the IUD as a method of birth control to help minimize um, some of those other things that were happening. Um, unfortunately, it's been two and a half, three weeks since I got three weeks since I got off oral birth control, and I have gained another eight or nine pounds. So I gained 14, 15, I lost five, and then I gained eight. So do the math, whatever. But... Um, I am, my clothes are fitting not very well. I'm very bloated. I am constipated. Like, that never happens to me. Uh, trust me. I have, I'm a very regular person. Um, and the IUD, I don't know if it's the IUD or what, but I'm, I'm actually experiencing um, pretty terrible cramps. And I have not had to cramp a day in my life. So it's definitely something's going on. Um, I'm not happy about it. So I am going to go see my doctor. Um, I believe it's next week, actually, when I get home. Let's see. Is it next week? I fucking hope so. Let me see. Must be the week after. So it's been three weeks. So I was going to see her at week four. Yeah, so I see her four weeks out. So it looks like I'm only two and a half weeks out. God, I'm already having like a period anyway. It's fucking stupid. Thirsty. Um... I got to keep this pretty short because I'm uploading it from my phone. It'll probably take me all day to get on YouTube. <laughs> so um, anyway, I, I don't feel like it's my eating habits. I really don't. If I were stalled or up or, up or down the same couple pounds, I'd probably think it was my eating habits. But um, I don't feel like that's an excuse. I don't. That's legitimately what I think is going on with my body. And um, if you guys think it's an excuse, then that's okay. You know, that's Okay. You guys can think as, neg as negatively as you want of me. Um, I know who I am, and I know, you know, what's going on for me and what my truth is. Um, yeah, so, you know, for anybody out there who thinks that I'm a, a bad example or, or evidence of how to fail at weight loss surgery, then, you know, then I hope that you can use that as a, um, you know, 
whatever as as a as a what not to do i guess you know um for those of you who don't feel that way you know then awesome i'm glad you're here with me and um that you're getting something valuable out of my story this is certainly um not easy and um, there's lots and lots and lots of wonderful things about this and lots and lots and lots of wonderful things that this has changed about my life. Um, not to focus just on the negative today. That's not my point. Um, but <clears throat> that I'm definitely in a really fucked up spot right now. Um, and, and not just because of that. And certainly not because of the comment um, last week. Although I did think about taking a break because for a minute there I was like, I'm an asshole. Like everyone thinks I'm an asshole. But, you know, I've had a lot of conversations with people this week on, on Facebook and turns out most people don't think I'm an asshole or even really bad at this. And, and that, like I said, it doesn't really matter. I mean, I love you guys, but I have to think whether I'm good or bad at this, you know what I mean? And, and do my own thing. Um, so anyway, I'm kind of babbling at this point and I apologize for that. But um, yeah, so I, you know, I'm here. I'm in Arizona. I'm visiting Tessa. I've got a wedding. Um, I had a, I have been good. I've not drank that much since I've been here. I, I had a couple drinks last night um, at the piano bar, which was super fun, but we didn't drink the first couple nights. I may have a glass of wine at the wedding. Um, otherwise, you know, I, I don't plan on, on drinking here. So um, still still in with mostly sober October. <laughs> and um, I think I'm going to start, um, I'm going to talk to my doctor about this weight gain and I'm going to um, anticipate um, starting carb cycling just to try to help get this weight off. Um, I don't know if it's just going to be an uphill battle until my body sorts itself out or what. Um, but I know that something's got to give. And, um, um, yeah, I, so I'm aware. I'm aware of that. And I know what to do. And, um, you know, for the most part, I do do it. But I'm not perfect. So we're going from there. Anyway, 12 minutes. Um, so this will probably be uploaded on YouTube in approximately three weeks because my phone is really slow. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys are having a great, great um, day and a great week. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. And, um, yeah. And for everybody who's going to OH, have fun. Tell everybody I said hi. And I'll talk to you guys another time next week, probably.